out here so by the time this video is up i believe it will be first of may so that will be the start of my birthday month yay okay so uh i wanted to do a 29 facts about me video since i'll be turning 29 in may I know, time passed by so fast. It seems like yesterday I was a unicorn in Zouk celebrating my 28. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let me pull out my list and start off with 29 facts about me. So the one, okay, the first one is uh, L is actually not my real name, but for privacy concerns, I won't reveal it. Although if you watch my videos very carefully, Jing may have accidentally said it before and I couldn't edit it out. Um, so if you know, you know. Number two is my birthday is actually 5-5, which is like 5th of May. And funnily enough, Jing's birthday is actually 11-11, 11 of November. So yeah, that's quite a funny coincidence. Number three, I was a total tomboy growing up. I never actually got into skincare and makeup much until I was 25. So uh, comment below if you want to hear the story of how I got into it. Number four, I have a huge obsession with watermelon and watermelon islands, as you guys can see here. Um, it's to a point whereby my friends have resorted to pulling me away from melon items whenever I see them. I couldn't resist this baby. It's too cute and yeah, I'll probably be hugging it for the rest of the video. Number five. Um, so number five and anything related to the number five is my fave number since I'm born on 5-5. Five five. Number six is uh, Opa and me met thanks to Domokun. Let me try to find Domokun on my bed here. I'm sorry, he looks a little worse for wear because I've been hugging him for the past eight years now. So yeah, sorry. So I'll find a better picture of him and put it like somewhere here. Um, so we actually met thanks to Domokun. So uh, comment below if you want to hear that story. It sounds like a freaking K-drama story, honestly speaking, whenever I tell it to my friends. Number seven is that I actually studied uh, mass communications. I did a diploma in mass communications and then I went on to do a degree in journalism. So some days I actually still wonder how did I end up in advertising. Number eight is uh, I'm the youngest of my family with one older brother who's uh, five years older but I'm actually the oldest in my gang of friends like even according to birthdays. So I'm kind of like known as the mama-san who takes care of everybody. Number 9 is that despite being the oldest in my gang of friends, I'm actually the smallest in terms of size. I'm about 150 centimeters. Number 10 is that other items I'm obsessed with include uh, Ryan from Kao Kao Friends, I find a picture with it here, Hollow or Iridescent Tones, Damokun, and uh, also BT21 characters, especially Shuki and RJ. Um, I do like Lion characters also, but I haven't really been like obsessed, obsessed with that much recently. Number 11 is that I actually cannot really eat spicy food, so you won't ever see me doing spicy challenges, I'll make other people do it. Number 12 is that I'm actually lactose intolerant, but I love drinking milk and eating ice cream. Um, so yeah, I just take my chances and rush to the toilet if it gets too much. And then this leads on to number 13, I actually can't really drink coffee. It's not because I can't sleep, I can actually sleep after drinking coffee. But it makes me run to the toilet, so I just take my chances as well. And I don't really drink coffee unless it's like that yearly uh, toffee nut latte from Starbucks. Or like, I really 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 need to stay awake for that day, then I'll just take my chances with it. Number 14 is that I actually got my, nick my nickname L because people couldn't pronounce my real name back in school so classmates started calling me L, like the brand name so it's easier to reference yeah, if you guys know my real name um, part of my real name does sound a little bit like that so number 15 is that I'm an ENFP in Maya Briggs personality but I actually used to be an ENFJ so I believe um, experiences do change you Number 16, I have only traveled to two countries out of Malaysia so far, which are Indonesia. And uh, in Indonesia, I traveled to Jakarta and Bali, and also Singapore. 
I vlog some of my Jakarta and Singapore trips so do check out Elle's Traveler I will leave the link in the description box below Number 17, uh, I have an OCD about notifications It's really bad actually, it's to the point whereby I get um, irritated when I see people's phones having notifications but I'm trying to get better about that um, So I tend to feel anxious if I see any notifications no matter if it's important or not like whether it's messages, emails, missed calls, um, social media notifications, um, game notifications uh, I actually tend to get anxious when I see that I have any notifications on, on my phone or anywhere actually like um, even on computer so um, I always check my messages and emails like really quickly Number 18 is that I don't actually have much allergy issues um, but a couple of years ago I developed an allergy to prawns that are not fresh so I get hives whenever I eat prawns that are not fresh Number 19 is that I am actually anemic yeah, so hence why my nails are really bad and hence why I always go to CR Nails to get my nails done because they know my condition and they know the best way to help me with my nails. Um, so my nails are so bad to the point that it's very brittle. It can just snap off if it gets snacked on something and yeah, hence why I have extensions most of the time. And also that I have two eczema conditions which are seborrheic eczema so that affects my scalp, the side of my forehead, um, sometimes my forehead and also my nose area and I have pomphalic eczema and this actually affects my palms in between my fingers and soles of my feet so for that it's actually very annoying and itchy um, unfortunately as this condition comes and goes I just gotta live with it because that's not really any um, medication other than like creams or like what do you call those pills again? I can't remember what you call them but there's like this certain thing that you can take to stop with like eczema or find like the term and put it here yeah number 20 is that um, I have endometriosis and if you want to know more about it BuzzFeed did some really good videos on it um, but disclaimer that my condition is not as serious as the lady in BuzzFeed um, But it actually does affect my money cramps really badly It's to a point whereby um, when I get my period um, Sometimes I am not really able to move during my first couple of days of having my period Because it hurts that bad Yeah Number 21, uh, I've always been into sneakers thanks to my bro's influence and my first ever branded sneaker was actually a red Adidas Superstar um, which unfortunately I wore it to like wet and muddy concerts so it eventually got destroyed and I had to throw it out um, I had such a good time wearing it to uh, my Chemical Romance concert, Sunburst Music Festival and I think I even wore it to the Ever Living concert if I'm not mistaken Number 22, I'm someone who actually prefers uh, comfort over style so I'm most comfortable in like sweatshirts and hoodies and loose pants but I don't mind dressing up as well Number 23, Al Ali, my YouTube name and a lot of my nicks actually is actually a combo of my public nickname Al and the nickname that my family calls me by which is Ali Number 24, I was actually really into music like Fall Boy, Planet Disco, Paramore, Ever Levine, My Chemical Romance Taking Back Sunday, Cute is What We Aim For, Good Charlotte, The Veronica's, just to name a few in high school. Um, I actually didn't get much into K pop until like, I think 2008, which like I got exposed to by Epic High and Big Bang. Um, 25, I'm someone who likes streetwear, but I selectively choose the brands I want to wear. And so far, I really like Anti Social Social Club. I'm actually still waiting on my order from them. Me and my bro ordered together, so we're waiting on the shipment. But um, be wearing their BT21 collab. 
um, and also Knit Unit, which is a local streetwear brand, and I tend to pair with my Adidas. Number 36, I have organized chaos around my spaces and I get very annoyed actually when ever people like rearrange my stuff because I tend to know where the things are myself and if it gets like rearranged, I get like, where the hell are my shit? Yeah. Number 27, I have been together with Opa for over 8 years now but I was in a relationship before that. Number 28, my top Korean skincare brands include Innisfree, Cosrx, Neogen, Etude House, and Glow Recipe. For Korean makeup, uh, I love 3CE, Moonshot, Etude House, and Innisfree. And my final fact is that I have published over 260 videos in the last 4 years. I still can't believe I did that. Um, and I became a YouTuber completely by accident. Um, I did an else talk video about being a YouTuber in which I spoke about this. Um, watch that to know the story or comment below if you want to know what it's like being a YouTuber after like 4 years now. So yeah, that's about it for my 29 facts about me video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment below what other kinds of videos you want me to do next. Don't try to do it. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye!